Hey everyone, it's Pauline from Stamp with Pauline Stamp and Stampede and I'm in today to show you a quick tutorial on how to do a variation on the baby wipe technique. So you need a couple of re-inkers, you'll also need a packet of baby wipes and you'll need some strips of cardstock. So I'm just using cheap um, Aldi version baby wipes, nothing, nothing special about them and I have already started on the card itself. What I have done is Real Red, I have Garden Green, and I have Merry Merlot, and all I'm doing is folding over in half, and then again, and now I'm going to be using Pear Pizzazz. Take the Pear Pizzazz, just be aware to make sure you have plenty of room, make sure you're okay with your surface getting wet, and be ready to dry up with a paper towel or a tissue at the end so that you can keep going. I'm doing a lot of these all in one go so that I can clean up at the end. So I've got some Pear Pizzazz here and I am now just going to swipe very rough, rustic, over the top of my strip. This strip of basic white cardstock is um, two inches by A4 so I haven't cut the length off because I will be trimming it to make my card so I'm going along here with some pear pizzazz and if you feel that your desk is just getting a little too wet from some of the baby wipe just mop that up and you don't need to add re-inker but I will to this side I'm just getting a bit of red coming across on my ink so here we go, just popping down some of that. And then another strip. And then another strip. And my last one, like so. And then I'm going to just give that a quick dry off on my desk. And now I'm going to repeat the same colours again. So I'm going to get a baby wipe and I'm just going to be folding it over in half and I'm going back to my real red. And you'll be able to see on my blog what these cards actually turn out like. So here is some real red going on and then each one will look totally different every time and that's okay that's the point it is just a rough and ready technique that you can just do quickly to make an effective card and have a bit of fun at the same time and get inky so now that I've done that I have got a Merry Merlot piece here and I'm just going to take one that may have already dried uh, no sorry it's Garden Green is my next so I'm going back with some Garden Green onto there I might just turn it around the other way because it will be a little bit easier so slap that on not too worried about the back side I will be trimming and designing something on the front so popping that down like so and that is our technique so have a look and check out my blog um, and hopefully I might even be able to put it at the end of this video okay see ya Okay, so I've trimmed my paper and this is now 13 and a half centimetres long by the two inches. I'm going to use the Dragonfly Garden stamp and I'm using Memento ink and what I'm going to do is stamp that in the centre there, give it a push. Now what I'm going to do is glue that down, just leaving a little border around the outer edge. 
and then what I'm going to do is add some more tear and tape to the back side one there one there and gluing it onto my basic white base card and then what I'm going to do is pop that down there I am using the stamp set go to greetings and I've got a little thank you I've got a oval circle cut out and I have a scallop oval and I'm going to stamp into there and then just grabbing my multi-purpose glue that onto there and then grabbing a two-dimensionals onto the back just make sure that has time to to dry popping off the back and then sticking that onto my card and there is our card using that technique